Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. Uh, we doing an engineering science entry. This is an electricity question whereby question 1 says state the difference between the potential difference and the EMF of a cell. Question 7.2 says a circuit consists of a battery of four cells connected in series each with an EMF of 30 volts and an internal resistance of 0 0.2 ohms. The battery is then connected to two external resistors of 6 ohms and 4 ohms connected in parallel. And the two resistors are connected in series with a, with a third resistor of 2 ohms. Uh, the sub-question says, uh, sub says calculate uh, the total resistance of the circuit, current flowing in the circuit, potential difference of the parallel circuit. 7.3 Calculate the cost to run a washing machine of 230 volts with a current of 20 amps for one hour if the price of electricity is 8 cents per kilowatt. 7.4 choose the correct word from those in brackets write only the word or words next to question number 7.4 the ratio of actual power to the apparent power is peak voltage peak current power factor so let's uh, answer these questions put on some light so that this can be visible yeah there we go then uh, the first question which is oh, this electricity T question one sees the difference between EMF and potential uh, difference and uh, the difference between the two is that uh, with the EMF uh, the EMF is a uh, voltage measured across the poles of a cell well there's no current so EMF across current flowing while potential different is voltage measured across a cell when there is current flowing flowing there we go and then question two uh, it's a circuit we told that the circuit is consists of four cells so cell one cell two cell three cell four there's the positive side there's the negative side then we are told that uh, each cell has an EMF of 3 volts and we have four of those so it's going to be 4 times 3 volts equals to 12 volts. 
Okay. Then here are the terminals of the battery. And uh, internal resistance Ri equals to 0 0.2 times 4, which gives us, uh, I think, 0 0.8. 0 0.2 times 4. 0 0.8. When the cells are in series, we add the EMFs to get the total EMF. And the, for the internal resistance, we add them together like series resistors. And adding four identical cells, it's as well as multiplying each by four. That's why I multiplied, yes. So this is RI, internal resistance. And we are told that the battery is connected to two other resistors. So connected to two resistors resistor one uh, in parallel so resistor two and then we are told that one is six ohms and the other is four ohms and the two resistors are connected in series with another resistor so resistor three which is in series with these parallel ones and it's a uh, two ohms so it's r3 r1 r2 and then the sub question say 2.1 says calculate the resistance of the circuit and uh, when we calculate the resistance of the circuit we calculate uh, this resistance this is the resistance of the circuit this is the resistance of the bit so the resistance of the circuit let's say rc it's equals to r1 times r2 since they are in parallel plus r1 and over r1 plus r2 plus r3 so it's R1 in parallel with R2 plus R3, like this. R1 in parallel with R2 plus R3. And then substitute what we have. This is a simplified form of adding resistors in parallel, only two. If there are more, we use 1 over RT equals to 1 over R and so on. So it's going to be 6 times 4 over 6 plus 4 plus 2. So RC equals 2. Let's punch that into the calculator. 6 times 4. 6 plus 4. Plus 2. That gives us 4.4. .4 ohms then to get the total resistance of the whole circuit including the internal resistance of the battery it's going to be rt equals to ri plus rc so it's going to be 0 0.8 plus 4.4 .4. therefore rt equals to plus 0 0.8 5.2 Ohms. According to me, the total resistance of the circuit is this resistance. And then the to uh, the resistance of the circuit is this resistance. The total resistance is the resistance is this resistance plus the internal resistance. So this is the total resistance. This is the resistance of the circuit. Circuit. There's the total resistance. And then question uh, 2.2 says current flowing in the circuit. So we know that V equals to I R. Therefore, I equals to V over R, which is um, 12 volt, since it's 3 times 4, over 5.2.
which is the total resistance total voltage LTA so it's 12 over 5.2 and we get 2.3 zero eight ohms okay then two point three is potential difference of the parallel circuit so the potential difference of the parallel circuit is going to be v parallel equals to i total times r parallel and r parallel equals to r1 times r2 over r1 plus r2 so v equals to i total which is 2.308 times our r parallel is this we substitute it's going to be 6 times 4 over 6 plus 4 you can calculate this separately then plug it here if you calculate it separately it's going to be okay, let me write it down here r parallel equals to if you calculate it separately it's going to be six six times four over six plus four which is 2.4 ohms so it's going to be 2.308 times 2.4 2 so v equals to 2.4 times 2.308 and you get 5.539 volts and that's it for question 2 and then for question 3 uh, question 3 says calculate the cost so question three is the cost of electricity and in this question three you are given v equals to 230 volts i equals to uh, 20 amps t equals to one hour tariff tariff or cost per unit equals to uh, 85 cent per kilowatt hour which is 0 0.85 rent per kilowatt hour there it is Therefore, the cost of electricity is given by tariff times uh, units. And units equals to power over 1000. and uh, this power should be in what you call it should be in calculated in if it's calculated in seconds you take it back to to what you call to hours and you multiply by the time that's the number of units you used so here the power is given by vi times g over thousand you realize that this is going to be 230 times 20 times one hour all over 1000 so this is going to be Two thirty times twenty times one over one thousand 
this gives us 4.6 kilo watts wow therefore our cost of electricity equals to r0 a r0.85 per kilowatt hour times 4.6 kilowatt hour kilowatt hour cancels this one since this one it's a denominator here and we are left with a 0.85 times 4.6 which is just around 3.91 Lines. or you can just multiply through whereby you see power over thousand times time in hours times tariff this is going to give you 230 times 20 over thousand times times one hour times uh, four times to if it's a zero point eight five so if you do this you should get oh it's one thousand you should get the same ones let's see two thirty 280 times 20 4000 times 1 times 0 0.85 you get the same thing 0 0.91